happy Sunday. I went to my P.O. box yesterday on my way back from the club and I have not been there in a long time. Unfortunately, I just, I don't know. I have been kind of busy and it's been hard. There were so many cards from you guys in my mailbox that I could not get it open. I put the key in and the latch would not turn. That's how packed full it was with cards and letters and everything. So I also got a ton of packages from you guys. You all, you do not have to send me things at all. I'm, you know, I love getting your cards and I'm so honored that you take the time to write to me, but by all means, you do not have to feel compelled to send me anything, but you did. And so I thought I would share with you guys some of the stuff that uh, came. Um, thank you so much though. First of all, this um, came from an anonymous donor. Uh, it was from Derm Store. It just came in a Derm Store box and there was no like memo in there. So if you sent this to me, thank you so much. It is the Coats Silky Foam Sunscreen. I love Coats. It stands for contains titanium and zinc oxide or titanium and zinc, I guess. Contains CO, get it? Um, and I love their sunscreens. They're pretty affordable. You can get them at Ulta. And I've seen this foam and I've been curious about it. Now, we really don't know too well about the foam. Too we really don't know too well about the foams. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we, we don't know how well foams perform. Wow, that too sounds odd. We don't know how well foams perform in comparison to like creams. Creams and gels, we know that they make a layer of protection on the skin, but I've told you guys the limitations of like sunscreen and sticks and sprays and foams are another uncharted territory. But anyways, let's give the foam a try -z here. Um, it comes in a pump, of course. Does anybody else get a little nervous when you get ready to depress like shaving cream? Like, I don't know, do you kind of wince? Ooh, it is a foam. It's a little... <clears throat> That's an interesting vehicle. Definitely has a cast. But not too bad. It's moisturizing. It's fragrance free. All the coat sunscreens are. It's pretty moisturizing. Actually, I guess the cast, this hand does look paler than the other, but it could just be the lighting here. Let's come over here. Yeah, it definitely has a cast, I think. I don't know, not too bad though. Um, I don't know how comfortable this would, I mean, it's for the body, but I don't know how easy it would be to put it on your face, but I think, uh, for being outside, it's a good one if you're just like on an every, you know, just kind of everyday use for putting on like your legs and stuff. So thank you so much for sending this to me. It is silky. It doesn't have a greasy residue and it is water resistant. This is great. Um, so I'm gonna keep that with me uh, for reapplying to exposed areas of my body throughout the day. And then the other thing that came, I already opened up. Someone sent me this Sun Balm Lip SPF. That's uh, the active ingredient is just zinc oxide. It doesn't have any fragrance or flavorance um, or you know goofy ingredients. Let's see how it looks. She mentioned that she prefers this to the Vanny Cream one. She says it looks better on her lips. And that it's moisturizing, I think, is what the note said. So thank you so much for sending this to me. Crack on into it. No. Pull off the pull off the sticker here. I need to cut my fingernails. It's color, it's just uh so it's white. Ew, that's good. That is good, nice and moisturizing. It's not as 
opaque as the vanity cream one, that's for sure. Cool. Thank you so much. This is a good one. Premium Zinc. Sunbum has a few good sunscreens, and I had never seen that, that lip SPF. All right, what else do we have here? This came from Louisiana. Let me get my X-Acto knife here. Oh, a nice card with an Alice Walker um, quote on it. Thank you so much. Oh, and she wrote a nice note on the back. Let's see what the shirt says. <laughs> it says, hey guys. <laughs> I love that. And then the back says, sunscreen and subscribe. Thank you so much. This is adorable. And it's a nice soft uh, t-shirt fabric. Um, the maker is Gildan Soft Style. Cool. That'll be a good sleepy shirt. Oh, how cute! This came from Seattle, Washington. A sweet little owl. It's a little finger puppet. <laughs> That's cute. And a pretty leaf pen, 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 I almost said. That's adorable. Oh, I love that. Oh, it's so soft. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I love this. And then next up came all the way from Salzburg. Woohoo! And it made it all this way in this pretty paper. And it didn't get like beaten up or anything. <laughs> the card is perfect. Peace, love, and coffee. Ooh, there's lots of great stickers in here. And this person has very nice handwriting. Aren't they cute? How cute is this? Did you make that? That's adorable. Simply, simply sap. Oh, you did. Simply sap. Here's the Instagram handle. Thank you so much. You did a great job. All right, and this one came in a pineapple mailer. How cute is that? Came with a pretty card. Oh wow, this is so beautiful. Let me show you guys. The It came all the way from the Himalayas. Isn't that pretty? Thank you so much. Thank you so much, that is beautiful. And it's nice and smooth too. I love that. Thank you. All right, this one comes from the Amazonian. No, oh, a melon baller. <laughs> Handy, yes, I do need that. Thank you so much. I love melon. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's for coring apples. Yes, for my applesauce. Thank you. I am gonna do that today. So I will, I will definitely put this to use. Thank you so much. Much better than using, using my spoon. Oh, I love these. Yes, I love these little socks. The Totoro ones. And I had several pairs of these, but eventually they, they, you know, I'm pretty hard on socks. So thank you so much. I am in the need, I'm, I'm in the need. I am in the market for some new socks. So these I'm excited to have because I love my totes. Oh, thank you, Melissa. 
Then we got some sunscreens here that looks like they came from Canada um, from the postage. So thank you so much. This company, Boo, I love that. Um, this is a spray and that looks like it's gonna be a good one. It's a chemical sunscreen. It's, even though it's oil free, it feels a little like it's got oil in it for some reason. It's nice and moisturizing. So that's nice. And then they also sent this Kinesis, Kinesis fragrance free chemical sunscreen. And then they sent a cream, a little sample here with hyaluronic acid. Dorm, Dormir 111, And this company also makes a sunscreen they sent me a sample of. Thank you so much. This must not. This was must have been expensive to mail. I know it's really expensive to send stuff all the way from Canada. So thank you so much. All right, we've got something all the way from Australia. Cool. Elderm. I wonder if this is from a viewer or if a company sent this to me. Looks like this came from the company. I think. Unfortunately, it looks like the blemish control serum did not make out. When I took this out, I was like, wow, is that a paper box? But it looks like it leaked. The luminous silk, um, that's a shame. It all leaked out. Um, this is a panthenol. It looks like this is a niacinamide serum with pea protein, but unfortunately, it's all over the box. So. That one, is, we'll just have to close our eyes and pretend. Um, an anti-stress skin renewal face wash with glycolic acid and green tea. Oh, I'm actually really excited to try this. And then we also have an anti-stress day and night cream. This one has centella and it has licorice root, shea butter. Oh, this one has fragrance in it. Does the face wash have fragrance too? Yeah, they both have fragrance. So cool. Has anybody from any of my audience from Australia, have you heard of this company, Elderm? Elderm? You guys, internationally especially, you do not need to send me anything. That is not, that is not cheap mail stuff. Um, oh cool, I am excited about this because I, I enjoy these Garnier sunscreens. Um, Oh, thank you, Emily. I hope I'm saying your name right. It looks like Emily. Emily, yeah, that looks right. Quite popular as an alternative to the Shaka fluid. Yeah, the Garnier sunscreens are really good. Cool, I look forward to trying that out. SPF 50, ultralight fluid. Cool. Very high protection. Let's put a little on. So you guys can see. Oops. Oopsie. A little bit spilled out on my grocery bag here. Boy, it is liquidy. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, it's very similar to Shaka fluid. I mean, if I closed my eyes, I wouldn't, I would think, ooh, am I applying Shaka? Shaka Shaka fluid. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. You guys should try this. Um, it, yeah, is this a Cana made in Germany? I know in Canada they have a lot of these Garnier sunscreens as well. For those of you in Canada who are looking for a good one, I would recommend. I would recommend the Umbrel. It's quite good. Look at all of the cards, you guys. Fun fact, I opened my P.O. box, uh, I don't know, probably over, close to three years ago, I think, I got the P.O. box. The person who had the box before me has not forwarded their mail still, and I continue to get mail from this for this person. And you know, they have at the P.O. box a little slot where you can put it, 
but sometimes the mail is like it seems pretty urgent like notices and stuff and i i don't know how to i've told the postal postal service the postal workers like is there any way that we can forward this guy's mail for him and they don't really have a solution oh this is a nice postcard here thank you so much with a very nice message written on the back which product can you use to avoid loose skin after and during weight loss? No such product, unfortunately. Um, yeah, that, you know, that's one of the challenging things about a rapid weight loss or, or any kind of weight, like profound weight loss is the loose skin. And the only thing that you can do about it is have surgery to remove the excess folds of skin. Um, the surgery is rather involved, unfortunately, but yeah, there's not like a cream, unfortunately, that will prevent that from happening. All the way from Croatia, I love this card. I need to, I would love to visit Croatia. I've heard it's amazing. Um, obviously not doing that in the current situation. Have any of you guys traveled? What's it like? I don't feel comfortable, but I know a lot of people are kind of traveling but I don't know I would I would worry that like I mean obviously sometimes people have to urgently travel for you know more urgent reasons besides just pleasure but I would worry that like something would happen with the you know the pandemic kick back up wherever you were and you'd be stuck there or something I would worry about that speak of the devil I have a card here for him that I accidentally took I didn't, because I had all these letters here, I accidentally took that. I'll have to take that back to the, I'll have to take that back to the P.O. box. That guy, it's like, dude, forward your mail. Here's another pretty postcard. I love that. Oh my gosh, it's the person that can write backwards. Ah! <laughs> I need to get a mirror to read this. There's a person who has, I forget their name, and it's written backwards. Um, thank you so much for sending me a postcard. I get the biggest kick out of the fact that you can write backwards. You're welcome, Liz. Uh, Liz sent a nice card all the way from uh, Whistler. I would love to visit Whistler as well. I, I've always heard it's a nice place to go. Some very nice viewer from Hawaii sent me stickers you know i love them ah oh, the to-do list that's gonna be perfect in my planner thank you so much and check out this card how pretty is that did you make this if so two thumbs up i love it that is beautiful oh it's a coloring book yes you know, I love my adult coloring. Thank you so much. Pretty City London. Oh, I look forward to that. You guys, I need to, I need to buckle down on my Christmas coloring book. I bought it over uh, during the summer. I was like, oh, I'll work on this. And by the time Christmas rolled around, I'll have enough of these colored that I'll be able to send them as cards. I haven't even finished one and it's already october and people are pushing the christmas spirit hard and i'm like ah i haven't made a dent in that coloring all right this box comes from carmen she wrote me a very nice letter thank you so much i i love that you guys write me it's like having a pen pal and you know how much I love stickers and I have been eyeing these sweet kawaii stickers in Michael's for a while now. And actually they haven't had this pack. This is one I haven't seen, but it looks cute. Oh, yes, it's all like cooking stuff. Thank you so much. How cute. Oh. I love these. And then the, um, this one I've been eyeing a lot because it's got the cute little grocery sacks. <laughs> and it also has like these little to-do tabs. Oh, 
Thank you so much. I have been wanting these sweet kawaii stickers for a while. Oh, how pretty! That is gorgeous. I love that. This is great for tea. Handcrafted. Thank you so much. I really like that. It's very pretty. Oh, a little angel from the willow tree. I love willow tree. Thank you so much. Oh, how pretty. I love these. Look at her little wings. And she's holding flowers. Thank you so much. I love it. We have the Eucerin Calming Body Wash. Thank you so much for sending this to me. Oh, wow. Somebody else sent me something willow tree. Oh, what a nice car. Thank you. Isn't that gorgeous? Thank you so much. Oh, these are pretty. I love the detail on her wing skirt. <laughs> that is really pretty with the spirits. It looks like it came with this little memo inside and it looks like maybe this particular purchase, some of it maybe goes to this monarch conservation. It doesn't say that explicitly, but it talks about it. Monarch Watch, a nonprofit conservation and research program that focuses on educating the public about the monarch, its, ha its habitat, and spectacular migration. Monarch Watch is making a significant difference for good in our environment. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I love it. Hi, hey guys. It is the end of the night. I have the hiccups. That's frustrating. I am a violent hiccupper. I'm waiting for it to come. Like, when I hiccup, it's like my whole bo body jerks. Same thing with sneezing. I sneeze, it's like an explosive sneeze. It's very, very embarrassing to try and kind of hold my breath. Maybe, maybe the <laughs> hiccups will go away. I don't know what gave me the hiccups. Maybe I swallowed too much air or something. <laughs> Irritated. My phrenic nerve, now my diaphragm's jumping up and down. Do you guys have any tricks for getting rid of hiccups? If you drink, <laughs> if you drink like a glass of water upside down, that helps them to go away, I have found. But the key is you have to swallow while you're upside down. Is that the like water going down the back of your throat in a certain way at least for me often will get rid of them <laughs> but I always heard that if you startled somebody it would like get rid of them but I don't think that's true there's some truth to that they're a pain um but yeah hopefully they will go away so I can fall asleep nothing like drifting off to sleep only to be jerked awake by hiccuping <laughs> Uh, I'm wearing my Costco Mickey or mini PJs. I have to tell you guys, these PJs were, have, have been one of my favorite Costco acquisitions this year. I have the mini ones and then I have the blue and white striped Mickey mini ones and then I have the gray Mickey ones. They're so comfortable. I'm not like a Disney fanatic or anything. I mean, I enjoy the movies, but like, you know, I don't, I'm not, it's not as though like I see Disney and I have to have it, um, but these PJs, they're super soft and then they, <laughs> they have pockets. It's really hard to talk to you guys with these hiccups. They have pockets and they're just like really comfortable. So yeah, if your Costco still has them, I totally recommend getting them. Oh, I've got my sleeping glow here. This thing is so comfortable. I, uh, I uh, actually enjoy sleeping on my back, as you guys know, but I have tried sleeping on, like, rolling to the side to experiment with the side sleeping with this, and it is, it really does cradle your face nicely. Like, it's 
a much more pleasant side sleeping experience than being like and having all the drool like a drool pool under your <laughs> it's better than having the drool pool drool pool that's hard to say drool pool under your cheek and then kind of get squished all in your face so <laughs> when you were a teenager in like high school did you ever fall asleep in class on the desk I had a study hall in high school and I would take a little nap for some reason high school was a time where I felt I needed a lot of naps not not I never liked taking naps when I was a child like little and need you know supposed to take them but my teenage years I was very very much a nap taker teenage years and early college like I took naps and I like I relished the napping <laughs> and I no longer nap like I don't know I've kind of grown out of napping I guess it was just a developmental milestone <laughs> or something but yeah I remember one time I fell asleep in the study hall and I woke up and there was all this drool on my desk it was pretty embarrassing <laughs> Anyways, guys, wish me luck with the hiccup situation. I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. Thank you guys so much. Those of you who sent me stuff to my P.O. box, I, my, I, you know, I, my mind is blown. I love everything, and I love your cards, and it's just, it's, I get tickled, you know. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to say something serious, and I'm hiccuping like, like a frog yeah I really like everything so thank you guys so much for your sweet <laughs> sweet cards and everything um, but I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here I hope you all enjoyed it and enjoyed your weekend and if you liked it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe I'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye